Okay, third and final part of the interview. We're going to uh, one more question about the priest uh, and your amazing career, and then we're going to talk about golf, a subject I know is close to your heart. Very cool. Um, let's imagine I've been to the moon for the last 50 years. Um, I've just come back down to earth and I've met you. You told me you're a top class, world famous musician. So, what tracks, what albums? Would you play to me to define your career? Um, <clears throat> let me just quickly just reel a few off. I guess, Take your time, Ken. <laughs> I, I guess if, if it's just automatic, um, I don't know, let me think. <laughs> Take your time. Um, victim Changes, Break of the Law, Living After Midnight, You've Got Nothing Coming, and Sinner, The Rage, um, Metal Meltdown. Pinkle? Painkiller, why not? <laughs> Suggest anyone. Obviously, as, can I make a quote? And I do. I, I do this often. Quote the great Ingve Malmsteen. He says, when people say about his favourite song tracks, and he says they're all my babies. And I guess that that's what it is, really. You don't mm. want to denounce yeah, yeah, any yeah. of your kids, you know. Yeah. So yeah. basically, you just give me the box set. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Since you um, departed the music scene. You've been working on this utterly amazing. Um, what, what's the standard call again? Uh, it's a USGA standard golf, basically a championship golf course, which is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. It's actually Don't quite ask me how I got into it. Really, it was <laughs> never really that premeditated. I just came here way back in 1985, you know, and um, <clears throat> and I just really, well, a little bit of history, grew up in a small bed city, you know, tiny little mm. place, as a lot of people did, you know, lots of the musicians, starring musicians, we, you know, we, that, that was the way that it was for so long, you know, and um, it's a bit of a sob story really, you know, it was one of those, but what could I say? Um, and then suddenly came into you know, a bit of money and, you know, you go a bit crazy, I suppose, you know, so, um, decided to buy this big house with like 30 odd rooms or whatever, came here on my own, and I just wanted a little piece of England, really, mm -hmm. way back then. Right. Um, but I thought if it, it ever happened, this would make a fantastic family home, you know. Yes. Yeah. That's how it didn't happen. Um, but then, a few years later, the, uh, the old farmer chap, you know, passed away and, and all of the land around me, you know, came up for sale and I thought, well, you know, put the house back together with the land. So I, my intention was really just to continue to do what, what would always, always been happening here historically, you know, which is pretty much, we're here in a farming community and that was it. Um, but then the idea struck me, I thought, you know, that, uh, you know, liking at the game of golf and doing stuff, you know, um, on days off, touring around, uh, it would make a great golf course. One thing led to another, led to another, led to another. And I thought, you know, um, why not have a go at that, you know? Um, and so now it's a commercial enterprise and, um, um, and it's moving forward at a fast rate of knots. Mm. You know, I've got the, um, the legendary Darren Clark, Ryder Cup, uh, legendary World Cup player and British Open winner, uh, Darren's uh, the ambassador now, the global ambassador for the Astbury, right. which is very, very cool. Darren's yeah. in the States at the moment, playing some tournaments, mm -hmm. had a good start to the season in South Africa, you know, um, so we'll see what happens. What's your vision for it? So? Well, I think now, um, that, I mean, I love being here, you know, this is my home. Yeah. But you know, um, you, you have to do something with land, you know, you have to do something with it, otherwise it just goes back to, you know, prehistoric times, isn't it really? So now I think the fact that I've got plans, um, permissions for a luxury high-end spa, and I'm going to be um, selling some this year, some exclusive holiday homes for investment or for people to enjoy or both. Right. Um, and we've got um, we've got the uh, Europro Tour coming again in June, um, 
uh, which is Teddy Boys and Sky Sports, which is very cool. Right, so, so. And, and it's fantastic for me to have some very, very good golfers come through here, you know, because yeah, yeah. they are, you know, as much as obviously lots of golfers and tennis players want to be musicians, you know, yeah, yeah, lots of musicians who want to be tennis players or, or golfers, you know, the grass is, you know, always greener. Um, but uh, no, it's been a bit, a, bit, a bit of passion and a great escape for not just me, some of the other guys in the band, and, and lots of bands to go out there and and just be a normal person, you know, on your day off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, well, Nick and my brain, I'll just keep yeah, yeah. uh, all king. Are you, you going to have a heavy metal open at some point? Yeah, yeah. why not? <laughs> it's very, very cool, yeah. Uh, I've spoken to Nick about some stuff that he does, you know, and, um, you know, um, yeah, there's lots of people out there. So it would be good to have, like, a media, well, you know, an industry mm. thing going on. Oh, yeah. It's always hard to tie bands down because obviously they're either recording, Schedules, yeah. you know, you know, doing stuff with schedules. So it's always difficult to get musicians together to play some kind of tournament. But uh, an industry event would be very, very cool. Mm, yeah, I think it would be extremely cool, yeah. Yeah, of course we do lots of charity things as well, um, for uh, the Lord Taverners, you right. know, the big charity. Yeah, yeah. I've did that for the last four years. I just started to do Teenage Cancer Trust. You know, so we do air ambulance, help the heroes, and, and it's fantastic. Mm. In fact, December, just gone, we had um, 13 charity events just in December alone. Right. Which was that's very, very good. The weather was kind to us. Day almost. So the weather was very, very kind. Yeah. So that's kind of a cool thing to do also. Mm. So if I owned a corporate company and I wanted to bring my people here for a golf day, how would I go about that? Simply give us a call, obviously the, the website you know, is the .co .uk. Um, you know, just give us a call, um, but it's not a members facility, um, it will be, you know, um, you know um, it, it's very much geared up to people to come here to destination, mm, mm, you know, right. um, obviously we do an awful lot of corporates and groups and that's what we really specialise in, Okay. even though you can uh, buy a season ticket to play, you know, unlimited golf throughout the year as an individual, um, but yeah, corporates, we sell corporate membership of course. Okay. Um, that wraps up my question, if you've got anything else that you want to um, add, Ken? <coughs> Not really, just a big, big hello to the metal world out there, you know, um, hopefully you haven't forgot me, I certainly haven't forgot any of you, and thank you, every everybody that sends me some fantastic letters, I was just saying about a fantastic letter I had today, Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, yeah. Um, from Costa Rica, which is, you know, um, um, it's very exciting to get um, correspondence from fans all over the world, and uh, and all I can say is uh, have a fantastic metal season and it's going to be a good one again. And I was also saying how fantastic you uh, alive and well, um, you know, concert performances, bands, touring, festivals, all of that. It's as good as it, as it ever was. So um, enjoy everybody and hopefully I'll see you out there again one day sometime in the future. Take care. You got lights. <laughs>